Brad, the new pothole patches pepper the road as of this morning. This is on the Chicago side of 134th Street. Now, the border of Hammond in Chicago is just down the street, just past those railroad tracks. And last night at a public forum, the mayor of Hammond suggested perhaps businesses should be responsible for the road. It is a tale of two cities, two states, and one bumpy road connecting them. Tom McDermott is the mayor of Hammond. And there was a reporter from Channel 2 News that said, I'm doing a story on this today. I didn't comment on it. He didn't comment to me. But at the meeting, he went on to say the road is mainly used by Illinois residents going into Hammond. Uh, it's not really used by a lot of Hammond residents. He openly While, discussed um, with the city engineer is, whether Hammond has any need for the road. The next closest road from Illinois to Indiana is more than a mile away. There's some businesses over there. Maybe the businesses rely should build the street. Lot, but, but Maybe the build, businesses should build the street. It's more for them than it is for True. anybody else. Interesting so, discussion. But Hammond business owners aren't so interested. No, because people from Hammond actually go out that way also. To have the businesses pay for that, I think, is a terrible idea. We do use that road. Our customers do. Mm -hmm. And I think they should repair it. John Skadvis says he wants the road redone even though his shop gains business from cars damaged on the road. A public works director spoke up at the meeting saying this road is prone to flooding and when Hammond City workers do try to patch it, the wild weather often creates new potholes. Talk to me after this, okay? Yeah. Councilman, are you staying for the whole mayor's night? You want to have a quick impromptu meeting after about Boy Scout Road? It's interesting timing. Yeah, this is also known as Boy Scout Road. We tried to ask the mayor what businesses in specific he was referring to and what was discussed after that meeting, but he chose not to comment on this story either. He did say at the meeting that if it were up to the Hammond Police Department, this road would be shut down. Now, the 10th Ward Alderman's Office says they have been considering resurfacing this road. Now they're reaching out to the city of Hammond for a clarification on all of this. Live in Hegwish, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. All right, a little interstate brawl. Thank you, Tim.